Hi, I'm Jess Italia Lincoln, educator for Vintage. I'm really excited to share with you our new 6x6 textured impression embossing folders. These were designed by the Vintage art team. They have beautiful, intricate, detailed designs. We have eight of them. And they were inspired by the Art Nouveau and Art Deco eras, which reflect the feel of some of our Vintage metal lines. I'm going to show how to create this beautiful faux leather effect that we made here with craft cardstock. Um, and then it's just applied to a wood box. So it kind of looks like it has a carved leather detail to it. So what I've done is I prepped a piece of craft cardstock and I just brushed on a layer of Mod Podge and dried that. So that kind of sealed the surface of the cardstock here. And I did that before I'm running the texture impression die through the machine. We have removed the solo shim, so I'm just using a solo platform and two cutting pads. And I am going to, because I want it to look like a carved piece, we're going to use the deboss side of the die. So that means putting the raised side of the die on the front prep side of the cardstock that the Mod Podge has been applied to. And for this specific technique, because I want it to fold over the edge and I want the design to completely run to the edge, I am actually going to place the end of my paper all the way along the hinge and flush on the sides, either side of the die. I have one clear cutting pad down, place this into the machine and add my second cutting pad. Go ahead and run it through one time. So now that's a debossed effect where it pushes the image down into the paper to create the impression. Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit of brown acrylic craft paint and it's just mixed with water to thin it out. And this is going over that surface that was Mod Podged. So I applied that thick layer of Mod Podge that sealed the paper. That way this allows the paint to just go into the impressions and I'm able to wipe it away from the raised areas. So I'm going into the hair and the face of the Nouveau Maiden. The paint, I'm just going in and wiping away the paper towel. This is gonna give it that distressed leather look. So here, you can see in this section I've applied the acrylic paint and it's just in those deep impressions. So what I did after painting the entire surface, that whole frame look, you're gonna use Crafter's Pick glue. It's a great glue to adhere to different surfaces, so for the paper onto the wood. And essentially, I'm just taking this image and gluing it on top of the box, and then this folds completely over to the bottom. And once you have that completely glued down, you would just use an X-Acto knife blade and cut the openings for your hinges.